We talk about entrance pupil and exit pupil of different optical systems. Right now, we want to talk about entrance and exit pupil of our eye. So, for actually in in order to understand this concept, first we need to look at our eye like an optical system. So, the pupil is the image of aperture stuff in all other optical systems. So, what does it mean? As I explained before, the entrance pupil, for example, we say entrance pupil is the image of the stop of our optical system in the actual object size. Exit pupil is the image of a stop at the image side of our optical system. I explained it before, you can take a look at that video. So, but our eye is a little bit different because as I mentioned, you know, the stop, the image of a stop, uh, formed by the elements behind uh, behind is the exit pupil because exit pupil but the image of the stop formed by the optical elements in front we call it entrance pupil that's like a regular optical system but when we look at our eye right now our eye is a kind of optical system so the size of the pupil that you can see this is not the actual real size so right now we are seeing uh, because we are we are seeing entrance pupil of the eye because we are in object side, but just it's a kind of uh, name. Even that things that we can see the real one that is a stop of system we call it pupil. So we just use one name, not entrance, not exit. We call it pupil. It's not like other optical system. So we call it just pupil. So now let's look at and uh, let's look at the lens. For example, you know in this lens. When we look at it, when you look at it from this side, from the front of le the lens, you can see a small hole. The size of that hole is the entrance pupil of the optical system. When you flip that lens, you can see from the exit pupil is bigger. So that one there is the exit pupil of the eye. So the same concept, but the physical size of that stop inside of the system, it has a specific size. So that one, we call it a stop. These two parameters, we call it entrance pupil or exit pupil. But for our eye, it's a little bit different. So the physical uh, size that is inside of our eye, that one we call it pupil instead of calling it a stop. So I just wanted to make, uh, to actually uh, emphasize on this kind of uh, uh, discrepancy between the other optical system and the eye. So as I said, here we have the iris. And we have the uh, pupil, real stop of our optical system. When you image it from to the cornea side, this is the entrance pupil. The image of the iris to the cornea side or to the uh, object size, that's the entrance pupil. You can see it. the position is different. The size is also different. When you look, at, look to the eye, you are seeing this one, not the real one. And then uh, based on uh, uh, Gosrand, number one eye optical model we have those numbers for the iris is uh, from the cornea is 3.6 for the exit pupil is pretty close 3.67 and uh, the entrance pupil is at three so you can see we have a 0.6 difference between the entrance pupil and the real position of the uh, iris actually so during accommodation anterior surface of the lens move forward we know that so when the anterior surface of the lens move forward both entrance and exit pupils more moved by 0.4 millimeter based on the uh, number one schematic eye model by Gastrand. so that's something that you know we need to be careful when we want to put those numbers in zmax we should take care of you know accommodation which you know is moved by 0.4 so those are the references that I use for this uh, presentation. Thanks for your attention.